Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense. And today I am back with a haul video. Finally, I know you're thinking, why haven't I uploaded a Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul? And it's because I didn't really get a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have pretty much everything that they put out except for like the brand new items um, that are like new scents. So I don't wanna say I'm burnt out on Bath & Body Works. I'm just taking a step back there are some things like um, the Gold Bond Retinol uh, body cream that I've been using so often that like when I use Bath & Body Works, it just doesn't feel the same on my skin. I am getting older and so the older I get, like the more I'm not going natural because I'm never going to go natural because I like scents too much, but the more I'm like incorporating other things. So a lot of times if I do use a Bath and Body Works lotion, I'm using it in conjunction with the Gold Bond, like I'm mixing them together. So that's why you haven't seen so many hauls. Um, I still have hundreds and hundreds of candles that I'm trying to go through. My husband like lights candles every night just because he's like, I'm trying to get through this. He like secretly, it's like his secret weapon to show everybody when they come over how many like hidden compartments of candles that I have. And I have way too many to count and way too many that I care to admit. So I just want to start getting through those candles. So that's why you'll only see items like that are new to new to me or new to the store. So let me get started. The first is the Waikiki Beach Coconut Lightweight Spray Body Moisturizer. I love the like lightweight sprays, especially if somebody in my house gets a sunburn because the thick stuff when it goes on, everything that touches your skin, including like a lightweight cotton shirt is like so painful. Thankfully, I put on like 100 SPF and I'm not kidding you, I put on 100 SPF, but um my husband gets burnt, brother-in-laws get burnt, and then they come over and they're like, oh my gosh, my skin hurts so bad. So this will be great. I'll probably put this in the guest room for guests too because I won't use it as much because I hopefully I don't get burnt, but um, that's what I use this for, the lightweight sprays. And I love these lightweight sprays. They used to have the, um, and I still have them, I think, but they're like discolored and disgusting. The ones that were the aloe vera gel, uh, body lotion from Bath & Body Works, and I loved those. If they bring those back, I will for surely get them. Um, the next thing I got purely for packaging, even though it does smell wonderful, I just saw this like simplistic like picture on it, but then I saw the iridescent. <gasps> Do you see that, y'all? Oh my goodness, I just couldn't, I just couldn't say no to this. Um, it is Sparkling Bergamot Moonlit Bouquet and Warm Musk. Okay, let's smell it. It just smells like you're clean. It smells floral, but it has like that clean, almost soapy laundry detergent smell, but it's so good. I just thought that was super pretty, probably just for me, not the guest bathroom. I bought another one for the guest bathroom. That's coming up. Okay, it's this one. I just thought this packaging mask matched my guest bathroom, and most of them don't like this one. They like the foaming, not the gel, but I just love the packaging, so I had to get it. This was, I think, just half off. And who doesn't love white t-shirt? Crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. So I grabbed that one. I think those are the only two soaps that I grabbed. Um, the next is the vanilla mocha martini. I went back to go get this in the body cream and the spray because I love the smell of this so much. And a lot of times when you get home, like you can actually smell the items. When you're there, you're you go like your nose just doesn't pick up everything. But I went back today and I got no scent from the lotion or the spray. And the lotion was very yellowy, the body cream, I mean. And so could one of you guys tell me if I just like couldn't smell because I had already smelled too many things? Let me know if it's just the shower gel that smells amazing or if I should go back and get the spray and the body cream and that smells amazing too because this, Smells amazing, smells great, I love this. Oh my goodness, it smells good, so good. But I really want the lotion and the spray, but it didn't smell to me, so I just left it behind today. But please, somebody in the comments, please let me know what to do with this. Did I just go nose blind to it, or like does the cream and the spray not have a smell? Let me know. Um, I was doing a pickup order and I was checking out and I saw this and I just asked her if it was 75% off and it was, so I grabbed it. Oh, uh, the only ones that, the only 
perfume that I ever have gotten from Bath and Body Works, like actual perfume is Into the Night because it's amazing. So this was a good surprise. It's actually really, really pretty, pretty packaging. It would be a great gift. Um, it normally was $50, I think, $50 hairs, $49.90, and then it was 75% off. Ooh. It's just, like, so fresh and clean. It feels, it's like you're, like, you have, like, a little book tote, and you're in a field of, like, lavender, and you're just laying on the ground with your iced tea reading a book. That's what this is. <laughs> that's what gingham is okay you guys but i just love the packaging so much i think it's so cute and it smells great and for 75 percent off i just had to grab it okay the next thing is not bath and body works that's in the wrong thing um this is the only one of two sprays that i got this is the whipped coconut milkshake it is vanilla ice cream toasted coconut and sugared amber i loved this um it's not going to be Mm, it's so good. It's like that the, the to me toasted coconut is going to be a very different scent than this like Waikiki beach coconut. Like this is like summertime sunblock coconut and this is like gourmand toasted coconut. So these are very different even though they both have coconut in it. I love this one. Now, would I prefer coconut cream pie to come back? I'm like sparingly using the um, shower gel of that right now. Yes, but I still love this one so much and I actually wouldn't like trade either one. Like just give me both. Like just put out both. I don't care if they're both gourmand coconut. We want both at the same time. Thank you Bath and Body Works. Love this. This one's amazing. I don't think it's long lasting, but what are you gonna do? It's a great scent. Uh, let's throw this one. What do I have next? Okay, this is uh, the only like newish candle that I got that's with the Bath and Body Works, I guess, that came out for the sale. Use your words, Jessica. Um, it is the blend of Marshmallow Fireside and Black Cherry Merlot. I wanted to get the, what is it, the Island Margarita and Vanilla Bean, and I really should have done that, but I didn't, don't judge me. Hopefully they'll have another sale. But on cold, it smells amazing. I'm getting more Marshmallow Fireside than I am the Black Cherry Merlot, which I actually prefer. But it smells so good. And you can't go wrong with Marshmallow Fireside. So if Black Cherry Merlot is just a little bit in the background, that's fine with me because I'm not a huge fan of Black Cherry Merlot plain. This is not new. This Hibiscus Waterfalls. I'm burning one right now. In fact, I'm burning one that I said that I'd never burn. It's like the blue packaging and the blue wax. But... I have to start going through my candles, so I'm burning it right now, but um, it's the white barn version hibiscus waterfalls, but I just thought this packaging would look so good in my bathroom with the, like, doesn't this look so pretty? And my bathroom's kind of nautical. It will be changing. We're going to, like, demo my guest bathroom and redo it, but until then, I just thought that that was so cute together. And then I think that I only have one... Oh, I have one more package. Okay, so this, if I could have gotten more, I would have and I should have. This is water resistant up to 80 minutes. And I always say I want sunscreen, like a good lotion, but has sunscreen in it, but still smells like the standard lotions. And this is what they gave us. It is only SPF 20. I don't know how great it works, but I use this in the morning before I go to work because I only have a five minute drive to work. But even those five minutes, especially in Florida, the UV rays comes through your car. And so you will notice a lot of people are tanner on their left arm in the United States than their right um, because it's like literally beaming in on you. It's hitting you. So I use, I've used this every morning. I should have gotten more of this. None of my stores have it anymore. That's my mistake. I know that I can just take lotion and mix it with sunscreen and call it a day, but this was just nice and easy. Um, and I just like it. And I like the smell too. Waikiki Beach Coconut is one of my summer faves. Um, and then what else did I get? Oh, I got this is orange and ginger shower steamers. It smells like I just opened this was 75% off. I went today and got this. They were putting out a lot of the aromatherapy, like um essential oil mists. Um, these this in like the sugar scrub, but I have so many sugar scrubs. I like, I have to like calm down. 
but this smells amazing. It was originally 1850. I don't know if it works or not, but it smells incredible. So I'm going to try it. I thought it was worth a try. Um, next, oh, this I got at, this I have the spray in my car and I use it a lot. And it's a uh, coconut coastal breeze and beachside cotton. And I was at the, I surpassed it at the 75% off rack. But when I get to the cash register, I smelled it again. And I was like, wait, I think I want this in the lotion. You just, it just smells like such a clean person. It's, it is like laundry detergent, but not in a bad way. The coconut makes it not like so like pungent. It's so good. It's like when you, when you're at the beach all day and then you come home and you take a shower and you just want to like chill and watch a TV show and have a drink. This is like what you want to be wearing. Just like a clean girl, like so good. I love this so much. Uh, I might have to go get the actual spray for this because I only have the mini of it. I probably should have done that. But, you know, I like to go home sometimes and smell something over again because I'm not a return girly. I don't return anything. I know it's a bad habit, but um, it, once I have it, once I buy it, it's it. Um, next, oh, I got this, which was surprising because I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have, but the people I follow... I didn't hear that this was like incredible or anything, but it was incredible to me. But it reminds me of Pear Glace by Victoria's Secret, which Pear Glace strawberries and cream, if you were in that era, if you're in your late 30s, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is Pear Glace. That's what it smells like to me. And I love Pear Glace. And isn't it glossy? Because it has like the hyphen over it. Anyway, this reminds me of chasing boys in 10th grade. Okay. Maybe ninth grade, but I'm just kidding. But <laughs> this really is amazing. And I loved it. It's fresh rainfall, sun-kissed pear and blondie woods. I wasn't, I had no plan or interest in buying this, but I ended up loving it. So I grabbed it. Um, and what's the last thing that I got? Oh, I just got some, um, you know, Sannies. I got two of those. And then I got this candle. It was the last one they had there. I wanted the lemon one of this, the packaging, but this is the only one that was left. There's not a lot left in my Bath and Body Works. I do live in a giant area, and so people like people love their Bath and Body Works here. But it's like a nice like petal, like you're in I don't know Italy, and you're just walking the streets, and you just smell beautiful fl flowers. I'm lying about that whole thing. It's just all in my brain because I've never been to Italy. So I don't know if that's the truth or not. But that's what it smells like to me. It says rose petals, white tea stem, fresh geranium, and natural essential oils. Yes. It has the same rose-ish smell as like whipped rose latte, but without obviously the gourmand at the end. But I just love this packaging and I probably won't burn this. Like literally the green and the pink. They used to call me watermelon girl because that's used to be all I wore is green and pink. The same like lime green and bright pink. And I love the blue and I love the navy blue lid. And I just thought it was so pretty that I had to get it. But that's it. Let me know what you guys got. And if you guys got some cool stuff. My stores never had anything anything 75 percent off candles they just put out a couple one wicks this morning that i saw like warm ocean breeze pink pineapple sunrise island margarita um lakeside morning and um mahogany vanilla those five were out in single wicks that the ladies were just putting them out they did say they had just gotten a truck in and when i was walking by i was like kind of you know peeking at their boxes because that's what we do and a bunch of the boxes um had like sharpie that said 75 percent off so apparently like at the warehouse they're marking it and so when it gets to them i guess they're just grabbing the 75 percent off obviously putting out on the table but uh there was new stuff that came in today that i had never seen before so Keep checking your stores over and over and see if there's anything good. I will say, I think that I'm expanding my horizons. I'm not just always going with Bath and Body Works, but I, um, I have been getting some of my body care at Buff City Soap and I'll do a haul eventually, but I'm like trying things to see if I like it. But 
I just thought that I'd throw that out there. Check out Buff City Soap if you guys have it. If not, do an online order. There's Narcissist, which is really good, I know. And um, the Coconut Body Scrub, I know, is really good. And my mother-in-law uses... I don't remember the detergent, but she uses the detergent from there and she loves it too. So just throwing that out there. I love Bath Body Works, but I think it's fun to also try other stuff too. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.